Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is D Spero Journey, this is BitCop, day 13, Church of the Third Revelation. Let's see how you did yesterday. Ticket quota met, cars towered, good job, patrol completed, perfect intervention, good call sorting it out with that guy, remember the DeVito guy, what about the intervention Kelly? Overall, keep it up Jack, keep it up. Are we lieutenant by now? This is it for today. That's move. Let's move on to the attractions. Bad day, boss. Goddamn, McNabb. Ever heard of mints? <laughs> it's as if the seventh circle of hell just split open in here. Damn, that bad. Listen up. The streets crawling with f nuts, and for once, I ain't talking about you, Chapensky. Thanks, boss. They call themselves the Church of the Third Revelation. This might be what the Padre was talking about on the previous episode. They figured out today they'll get their five minutes in the spotlight. It's some sort of cult, and the press is already up my ass about it. Satanists? Nope, but it's run by some serious wacko. Get rid of their posters. This is what the Padre wanted, by the way. And chase those punks. This is part of a bigger propaganda campaign, so take care of it. I want my beat as quiet as the IRS commissioner's funeral. To get the show on the road, asshats. Uh, get the show on the uh, on the road, asshats. So, as you probably noticed, this is day 13, and we finished the latest episode, the, the previous episode, by having game over. I didn't complete day 12 because I... What, what happened, actually? I know for once, we didn't complete the church intervention. The guy basically burned himself because we got close to him and we couldn't. Then the second death, the second game over, was when the crew got me. So on this episode, I'm gonna try to focus on improving my crew's morale or reputation a little bit, because one small step and they get me, they kill me. Do I look like Big Bird, McNabb? I'd say no, sir. That's right, because we ain't on Sesame Street, are we? We ain't, sir. And what's missing from Sesame Street? Crime, sir. You're spot on, Kelly. And what's being ravaged by crime? New York, sir. Then why the F are you all still here? Get straight to the point. F, why did nobody wake me up? You look so sweet sleeping. I wonder how Chapensky knows that. I got a very important question for you guys. What happened? Who took my Cosmo from the chitter? Why do you read Cosmo? I'm rediscovering my wife's femininity. <laughs> but why in the shitter? Because I'm a cop, that's the only place I got time to read. You have a point. Why did you decide to become a cop, sir? My father was one. A beautiful family tradition. And you know why he decided to become a cop? Because your grandpa was one? No, because he wanted to catch thugs. Is there a point to this anecdote? Yeah, that you should move on your sweet ass and catch some goddamn thugs. I'm dedicating today's thugs to your paps, boss. Alright, ass wipes, get on the street. I am becoming this boots licker, ain't I? It's like I'm being prepared for a promotion and I'm trying my best to kiss my sergeant's boots or something. Cortez, what you're staring at? Cross? What? Can I crash on your couch tonight? Quit joking around. Seriously, someone shot my neighbor last night. Sorry about that. FM, point is the investigation team's keeping me up all night. It's still a no. Damn. Let's continue. Day 13, let's take care of those posters. We have a religious mission today. This ain't looking good, Kelly. You know what to do, yeah? Posters you can handle, but keep an eye on those cultists. They can be dangerous. Anything crops up, you call in a squad car. Yeah, yeah, I can manage. Alright, so... Oh, there's one over there. Let's get to it. Here's a poster. Let's take it off. Cultists effing doodles. Not on my shift, whack jobs. That's one gone. Let's continue over here. Another one over there. We're gonna go for breakfast. What simple is this? I'm ripping it up, up anyway. Okay, so free breakfast. Let's get it. The usual free time with uh, a beautiful girl in the morning. It's it's a good, it's a good thing to look at uh, those three friends in the morning together with a breakfast. Stamina plus one. Uh, let me check. What's my stamina right now? It's plus one. Okay, I'm sort of happy with that. Another poster over here. We're gonna visit the pawn shop, just to see if they have anything for us to do so that we increase the reputation with them a little bit. F me sideways, a pig in my store? Choose your words wisely. 
You done eating the mafia scraps? Oink oink porker. You cross this one more time, we won't be seeing each other again. Now get the F out of here. Alright, they don't really want anything to do with me. Uh, and I would be surprised they would, because they basically hate me. But I was looking forward for a mission. Surprisingly, I don't have any tickets to sign. That's, you know, new. That's big news. What can I do to help? It's about our man Alfonso. Thanks to you, we dug up some dirt on him. We suspect he's working with the... Melanzanas? Just the thought should earn him a bullet. But we want to be sure. We want you to sweep his car. It's a black Krogilak. He lives at 6.05 and parks around there. He should show up at around 10 a.m. Okay. I hope those Melana... Nananaza... Nananazanzas, I didn't quite get the name, is not the crew. Or I'll be in trouble. Because honestly, I can only take like one wrong turn and I'm done. 90, 92. 8... Reputation less, or minus, and I'm gonna get killed by them. Okay. Just letting you know, all the posters are down. Good job, stay alert. Those cultists, nut jobs, ain't slacking. Okay, all the posters are done with. This is Central. 421 cultists reported preaching outside Matthew's workshop. Got it. But uh, the other guy must be almost here at 10 a.m. We still have got time, I think. Matthew's workshop is over here. Got a moment? Not really. See what's happening around here? Been chasing those cultists whack jobs. I need a favor. Remember our deal? Sure. Can we talk about it tomorrow? It's urgent. But since things are so hectic, I guess I can wait. Come first thing in the morning. I don't remember anything about that, but okay. Oh, what's happening over there? What the... What the hell? Hey, you, Prophet! Get the F out of here! Is it that guy? No, it's this one. What? Uh, I'm not entirely sure what happened, uh, but the guy had a huge black circle around him Which totally reveals that he is a cultist and most likely he's planning to work for the devil, so uh, Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, hope that this guy comes around fast. Let's see so oh Hold up 12 p.m. Why did I think it was 10 a.m.? It's 12 p.m. The time that this guy is getting here so for the time being we actually don't have anything to do right now, which is great. So let's just try to stop the propaganda around here. We need you at the pawn shop. Some guy lieutenant is doing a sweep. He might just find something we didn't have time to clean up. It could hurt us, all of us. Okay, let's help because we want to improve a little bit of the crew reputation. He drove up in a black Crodilac. He's parked right in front of the pawn shop. Arrest him or get his tar a car towed. Anything, we need to hold off that sweep. Okay, so... Black... Crowdilock, it's this one. Uh, let me check for... I don't know, I need a legit... Ticket over here. So that I don't screw this up, but I don't believe... There's any reason... To ticket this car. I'm just gonna have to deal with the wrong ticket. Yep, all the tires are okay. So I'm just gonna write a ticket. For parking violation. I hope my sergeant believes in me. And let's... Call the truck. This is one of the ways to get rid of him, so I'm gonna do that rather than arresting him. I think there's more problems coming if I try to do it that way. Car theft reported at 6:09. Okay, hold up. Don't I don't I need to get in here? No. Okay, so that's done. I don't need to do anything else over there. Damn, the guy's sure to ask about his car any minute now. That's one of the, more of those cultists. Jack, what the f? That was my car! You towered my car, you moron! It was in real bad shape. Tires totally worn out. And a broken headlight. I ticketed him for bad parking! Get out of my sight! I need to take a cab. I should be looking at a pretty nice bonus from the crew. Well, at least, you know, at the very least, we got crew reputation, which is all we needed. I think I should have waited there for the reward, but there's a car theft over here, which... Guess what? I'm not probably gonna get there in time anymore. Let's see, pick up the bonus for the- uh, yeah, I need to do that. But, uh, that car theft, I'm not gonna get there in time. You saved our asses, Jack. Here's $100, you earned it. 100. Maybe I should work for the crew more often. You know, I, I've, I've always promised to stay with- That guy was a cultist as well. I always thought I would stay with the Mafia. 
but the crew seems to be paying more. Maybe it's one of the perks for staying with that side rather than the Mafia. Remember Sesame? Yes, yeah, Sesame, Mr. Arabella's dog. It's just been released from hospital. Doctors re determined it was anaphylactic shock. Barely managed to save the dog. Seems like it might have been poisoning. Tomorrow you'll need to ask Mr. Arabella a few questions. Copy that, but first I gotta survive till tomorrow. Gosh, this day is becoming kind of, kind of hectic. Let me get this poster. Even though there's no tickets to be signed, it's still pretty hectic. Alright, we're here. Those gang members effed you up pretty good. What? What? This is Central. Another cultist, get your ass at 601. Hold up. No, 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 no. There's still something over here. 605, black crotty lock. Uh, I, it's not here. When I get dumped in the slammer, don't step foot here again. I hope that's the last of them. Okay, that was the cultist. I need to eat, but uh, I, I can't find any black crotty lock. Let me guess. It's gone now. Okay, uh, more posters over here. Urgent call at the church. Oh my lord. This is not stopping, is it? I'm not gonna do this quest over here, this mission. It's not gonna happen. The guy's not showing up. Talk to the pri priest. And... That's about it. But that Cradilac never showed up. Or Crotilac. I don't even know what to call it anymore. Let me eat a hot dog over here, which doesn't take any time, does it? Just money. Yeah, there we go. Even though I believe we need a lot more. My stamina. It's minus five! Okay. To the church. I need to take some lunch as well. Time flies, doesn't it? Oh, shut up. Okay, where's Padre? He should be at the church then? I got a call. Officer, it's bad. Very bad. What happened? Who's that girl? Maddie Sobs? She's the daughter of one of our parishioners. He hasn't been to the church in weeks. Can you tell me why you're crying? He's, he's gonna... K -k 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 what he's gonna do, sweetheart? Kill himself! Oh, Holy Trinity, sweet Jesus, let us pray. It's bad, very bad. Get your shit together, father. Who are you talking about, kid? Your daddy? Yeah, I heard him talking to uncle. Uncle? Uncle got something to do with it? Yes, they kept talking about it. They were saying there were many friends waiting, and that they were ready, and they'd take me with them. My god, poor child. This doesn't sound good. Tell me, sweetheart, where can I find them? Uncle lives above the drugstore. And what's his name? Louis. And where do you live? Can you tell me? We live at 609. I'm begging you, save my daddy. He was already dressed. He might have left the house. Sweet Virgin Mary, Holy Trinity! <laughs> Alright, so... We're gonna get there and try to save these guys, I suppose. You know, I should eat lunch first, though. Let's get it. Even though it's gonna take uh, a few minutes, but those guys can wait. Goddamn cultists. I'm not gonna run without eating. I might faint midway. Hello? Anybody there? Damn, no one's answering. I'll keep looking. Uh, Alright, so tr let's try 609. Number three is Kane. Let's see if anybody answers. Silence. Shit, someone's coming down! And looks like the other cultist. This must be a little Maddie's father. I'll follow him. Okay, let's follow the father. Let's just walk so that he doesn't get suspicious. That might be a thing. I'm just wondering about that black square around him. And there's the other one. Maddie and something. The meeting should be about to start. All right, let's not lose them from sight. So this is happening. Oh, I've been forgetting about the posters. There's one over there. I should just take it down while I'm at it. Gotta rip it all away. There we go. This is 421. Just letting you know all the posters are down. Nice. Okay. That was actually the last one there was to rip down. And there's the uncle. They're going to the meeting. Okay. They should probably look at me and be suspicious. Be like, we should not do this around the police. Alright, there's three now over here. Three to one. I don't like the odds. Where are they going? Oh my god, the pawn shop? They are involved with the crew? No, over here. Okay. 633. Which apartment floor, though? 
All of them are going here. Should I go in too? I mean, actually, I cannot click there. Tell the cultists I'm doing so. But nothing so far. What Was that all of them? Oh, there we go. Oh my god, I gotta... Hmm, I gotta... Hold up. Do I have any idea what's the apartment? Let's try the Tyler one. I'm coming up. Is there something wrong? There's something going on behind that door. Maybe I should wait? Is everyone here? Then kneel down. We've been preparing for this moment for a while now. I give you everything. I give you life. Now you will give back what's most precious. Things are getting hot. Wait. Let's wait. Take this from me. One each. Raise your hands and wait for a sign. Let's still wait. Don't be afraid. We're all gunshots screaming. Holy shit, they shot the Reverend! He shot him, murdered! I need backup at 6.33. I'm coming in. Sound of the door breaking. Police! Everybody get down! I said down! Damn it, drop the gun, drop the gun. I need a buzz. I got two suspects, one critical. Have I failed the mission because of this? I was protecting my own life. Backup arrives at the scene, but the Reverend dies, shot by one of his followers. This is the end of the Church of the Third Revelation. Hey! I'm fine with that. That's a good outcome. This is Central. Good work, 421. You're looking at a recommendation from the boss. He mentioned a raise? Thought so. Okay! I mean, other than... This mission, we did okay today. Invalid tickets, one, none reported. Nice. I removed all the propaganda posters. Nice. I chased away all the cultists. I prevented the cultists' mass suicide. <laughs> I didn't complete the job for the Mafia. Yeah, this is it. This is what I failed to do. Well, a little bit less than 50% on Mafia reputation. It's still good. I'm still happy with that one. So, they 14. Let's see what comes out of this. Ministry of Geriatrix. Geriatrix. How was yesterday? Did you kick those cultists' whack jobs' asses? You bet, boss. Glad you came forward, Kelly. I'll start with you. You removed all the propaganda posters. Good job. You chased away the cultists. And one last thing. Downright perfect for a former dick. You stopped the cultist's suicide. Good job, Kelly. Sure. Could have been a real bloodbath there. Nobody asked you, McNabb. Overall, top work. Alright, no time. The mayor's up my ass. There's not enough money coming from the tickets. The accident rate's spiking too. So put the pen to the paper. Five tickets for tires. And what else? Oh, that's just, that's just it? Five tickets for tires? Okay. That's almost nothing. Compared to what we did before. Now, what a... something. What, sir? That the city's been hit by a crime wave. Ain't that true, sir? And whose fault is that? Ours, sir? Damn right, Kelly. You know why? Because all we do is dick around and take bribes. That's the smartest thing you've ever said. <laughs> and we all know how much you hate talking things uh, out of your mouth. Yes, sir. And how should we fix the situation? By getting our asses on the street, sir? We got a winner! Who feels like drowning their sorrows? Ain't the same in company? You a fan of solos? Not by choice. That's what I always said in high school about celebrity. In other news, I heard there's gonna be plain clothes on the beat again. F, a man can't even moon like an honest buck these days. Cross, got any cream on you? Lip balm? Me and the wife had our anniversary yesterday, so my lips are all chapped. No details, I'm begging you. Can't spill much anyway, my tongue's still numb. <laughs> Her name was Raza. Who's? Don't get him started. My high school English teacher. And why are you bringing her up now? He just wants to brag, don't take the bait. Anna was the first woman who ever tasted Cortez. So you did get something out of high school after all. Probably an STD. Whatever that means. What reeks? I got puked on during a call. Drunk bums? Drunk pregnant woman. She's still something two weeks late now. Maybe the kids gotta sleep off the hangover. The kids are getting drunk because she's getting drunk. Sure. You left your ticket book here. Thought you skipped writing tickets today? 
Five for tires. Whenever you find a car at which behind there's like marks of tires, it means that the tires are bad. Let's confirm once again. I want to make sure 100%. That's not a good tire, right? So I can't just ticket this one. I more and more get surprised by the things that I learn after playing so much of Beat Cop, but I'm always learning in this game because I never pay much attention to everything. So, Peep Chow, let's go. See what's going on. Froggy, what happened? Good morning, officer. I've been expecting you. What's this about? Our little Russian secret. I knew it. I promise to help, so I will. This time around, I'm the one under the gun. What's this about? I won't beat about the bush. I'm up to my ears in debt. That bad? Yeah, I had to hawk the whole store. What now? I really need your help. But you gotta know I ain't wiping my ass with money. There's nothing to worry about. It's almost good to go. Why would I be worried? What's almost good to go? Easy now, Kelly. Froggy, I don't know what you're up to, but... You're gonna help me shoot an adult movie. You kidding me? Actually, I've been setting it up for years now. Look, I'm gonna pretend this conversation never happened, and... Then our secret's no longer a secret. Catch my drift? Alright, since you put it that way... It's out of my hands. It's already been paid for. This is a life or death situation for me. Alright, just tell me what to do. Hawking the store got me money for the actress and the gear. But I still got no male lead. You can't possibly be thinking that. Not you for sure. Too small a caliber. But damn effective. See that actor in the poster? Yeah, that have been manipulated. The dick? No, that's the real deal. No way. For real! He's from around here too. That guy's still breathing? The poster must be like 20 years old. I know, but you should see our actress. You have to be a fag not to get sprung. Got this whereabouts? He's whereabouts. His ex lives at 605. Alright, I'll try to find him. What was the name of her? Number 4. Sex? Sex? 605. I'm disturbed by this conversation. 605, it's right over here. In the poor zone of the street. And it was number 4. Who's there? I just want some goddamn sleep. Mr. Wad, this is Officer Kelly. Dirk, you scum! Quit effing around! Don't you dare come back without booze. She's plastered. And how do you know I ain't got a bottle here, sugar? Mmm, got a bottle for your baby girl? Sure I do, Jewel. Let me in. Alright, but if it turns out you lied to me, asshole. Drunks. Who the F are you? I'm calling the cops. Mr. Wads, I am the cops. Is this about Dirk? Where is he? That's what I wanted to ask you. How would I know? Maybe he is bumming around a donut? He got- he go to get donuts? My ass hooked up a job there. That's what I wanted to know. How- wh what about the booze? Get some rest, Jewel. I can see your liver through your shirt. I'll make a complaint. Okay, so, donut store. We're getting reports that the mafia is extorting protection money. Where? It's an anonymous tip. You need to find it yourself. Uh, I'm going to... let's see... I'm gonna hide... I'm gonna close my eyes to this one. So, I'm gonna back off. Because I have a lot of reputation with the police. I don't have as much with the Mafia, even though I should care about the police reputation, of course. But, um... I'm gonna try to make things even. I've learned that in this game, you want things to be even, rather than having a lot of something in one side, and very low on, on the other side. Do you employ Dirk Wad? Yeah. He's been working for me for two months now. A real record breaker around here. Where can I find him? No need to look far. He's over there behind that glass. The bald dude with the stick? No, 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 the one next to that busty blonde. The big donut? The one and only. But don't call him that. The job's demanding. So, he's outside? You don't plan on locking him up, do you? He's a punk, but there ain't no line for that job. No worries, I'm an old acquaintance. I see, I could tell just by looking. So it's this guy. Dirk? I think it got me confused with someone else, officer. Dirk Wad? I can tell! F off, man, that was another life. But I'm a big fan of yours. For real? You remember me? Yeah, and I got an offer you might find interesting. Alright, let's hear it. Would you like to get back to performing? That's kind of you. But you're a few years late. 
Come on, quit whining like a little girl. You in or out? I gotta think about it. Take a day off and we'll talk. Uh, in the alley next to the church. Fine, have it your way. Okay, I'm gonna talk with this guy. Two grease balls have been stirring trouble for us. Effing with our business. Get to the point, what do you want? We need two parcels delivered to two cars, that's all. Should be easy to spot. Yeah, I know. Crodilac Shipwood. You guessed it. Plates number B R N Q U. They should stop by for grub around noon. Shouldn't take them more than an hour or two. Man, I really do not want to get on bad sides with uh, Mafia. But I am backing off from their extortion, so we should be fine, even if I accept this. So, let's talk with these guys over here. They must be doing an extortion over here as well. So, I'm just gonna skip it, back off, and this, sh this should finish it. There we go. Okay. Police didn't like that, but the Mafia did, so we're kind of fine. What about the that job over there? Slip trucks into the Mafia's vehicles. Plate numbers, uh, they'll show up in front of the pizzeria after 2 p.m. Oh my god, this is really gonna get me on bad terms with the Mafia. Find a male lead for Froggy's movie. Hold up, uh, there we go, there he is. Alright, since we're on the same page, I need to see it. See what? Oh my god. Really? What the F, officer? Wipe it out, man. I gotta make sure you're still up for it. With all those people around and my work clothes is on? If you don't want to spend the rest of your days as a big pink glazed anus, then you better listen up. Fine, fine, but let's make it quick. God help me. What? That bad? No, are you kidding? They should list it as an endangered species. Not bad, huh? Weapon of mass destruction. Achievement on Steam. Great. Not at all. Maybe if I hammered it with a chisel? What? No worries. We'll get you something from Crank. Alright, I'll see you at the donut after work. Past 2 p.m. Dude, Viagra? Hello? Officer, I got a favor to ask. What's this about? Our lawyer. Right after we're done talking, he's gonna walk out of the pizzeria and visit a few places. He's got a briefcase, a briefcase with some important documents inside. I want you to tell him. And let us know where he drops it off. Okay. This is for the pizzerias, guys. Excellent. I'll see you when it's done. That's him. Go ahead. Alright, there's the dude. Hold up. Is this the car that I need to plant the drugs on? Yeah. Those gang members... Oh, come on! Not again, man. This is always happening and stopping me from doing my job. Like, I have no idea where that guy went now. Isn't this great? Tail the mob's lawyer. Oh, there he is. Uh, this job kind of got in the way. Which is not great. I should be doing that. I can only do so much, though. I'm going to fail a mission here. At least I didn't lose this guy from sight. But uh, I lose a lot of time in these striking missions. I have to keep on him. Are we done with the tickets? No, we need one more, by the way. And that's gonna be this one. The lawyer didn't get out, did he? Yet. It's not that guy, is it? No, there he is. Gotta hurry up after this. Okay, that's all the tickets. No, shut up! Let me go! God, th that's so annoying. Why would I ever need to go on and warn the... You know, the police station that I got all the tickets for tires. That's just... It's stupid. Let's just put it that way. What does this girl want? Officer, what is it? What can I do for you? Nice of you to ask. But it's you who I'd like to help. Yeah? And how would you do that? I'm sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Carla Harbard from the New York paper. Officer Jack Kelly, so you work at the New York paper? Yeah, that New York paper. You've opened our newspaper many times, I suppose. Sure I have, I still don't see what you're getting at. I didn't ask for your help. You might not, but you, your department needs it. And what's wrong with it? Oh, please, you can't drop the act, you know exactly. A series of scandals, drug trafficking, gun running. I heard plenty about your colleagues and their ties. I'm pretty new here, I got nothing to do with it. Exactly, I need someone like you. Independent, no links. You got the wrong person, I'm going. I'm gonna go now. Please wait, I'm doing research about police corruption. There's gonna be a big article about this. You could do the right thing, benefit the public, uncover the illegal practices inside the police. I'm gonna refuse this. Screw this girl. 
Think it through, Jack. I'll be around tomorrow in case you change your mind. You went to get some grub. You should come out any minute now. I'm still tailing the right guy. And I'm happy about that. Because I thought I would eventually lose the guy. There he is. There's a lot of guys running around with a suitcase. But none is dressed like this in dark brown. Is he gonna go for the church? Yes, he is. I don't know what happens if you stop eating entirely. If eventually you will die. I guess maybe there's a limit to... Interesting. There's a limit to the minus or the lowest stamina you can have. I need to go. I need to perform other jobs, dude. There's Dirk over here that I need to meet. And there's the job for the crew. Hold up. Do I need to... Hold up. Do I need to get in here? Chief, Angie's here. I'd rather talk to her in private. You gotta be kidding me. In that case, yeah, I am. Angie, can you tell me what's going on? I'm scared. They're just gonna kill me, just like Lester. Who? I can only make guesses. So, remember that break-in at the senator's house? Yeah, hard not to. Exactly. There were two of them here. Kenneth, who you whacked, and Terrence, my boo. If there have been two, I'd whack two. This ain't funny. Terrence split up with a split with some pre precious shit ejected from the safe. Diamonds. Yeah, but that ain't all. What else? A videotape. Someone's killing people over a videotape? That doesn't make sense. That videotape's more valuable than the stones. This footage could bring the senator down. Got it? This might be what they're looking for. That would explain a lot. They want it back, and they figured out we got it. We? Lesser Terrence, me. Why you of all people? Terrence cause he jacked it? Me cause I'm in that movie. Lesser cause he was on... He was in on every night? Where's the tape? Do know, Terrence might have it. But he gone eft right now. Ah, trust me, we're gonna find that punk alright. Easy, easy. There's enough bodies on the street as it is. The video tape turns up, you let me know, alright? Or what? Or you might find yourselves way out of your depth with this. I'll sort it out. Pretty sure that's not proper English. We'll, we'll see, we don't do no deals with pigs around here. Can't say I give two Fs about that. This ain't a game, alright? I'll see you in two days. I'll be at my friend's. 633. What about the diamonds? Who gives a shit about the diamonds? I bet Terrence already pawned them off to some fence. This ain't good. You gotta lay low. You're the one all out and proud on the street. With that little ticket book and that said popgun of yours. Yeah, yeah, and our dicks can't measure up to yours either. White people? What? Oh yeah, blow sky. Hello, Kelly. I'm glad I caught you. I want you mola or something. Quit messing around. It's all about our business. You never stop in this game, do you? You never stop. The senator's missing item. It's some kind of bomb, which we can use to blow him up. We meaning who? Me and my journalist friend. Ah, the journalist. Now you got my attention. Think with your head, not your dick, Jack. <laughs> Find that missing item. I think I'll focus on the diamonds. This is bigger than some goddamn diamonds. Maybe for you and that journalist. We can all benefit from that. We'll see about that. Remember about us, remember about your daughter. And what's that supposed to mean? Figure it out. I got a jet. Hey! I'll be in touch. Okay. So, at 2 p.m., I needed to talk with Dirk. Is Dirk done for today? You don't recognize me? Maybe because of the uniform. I figured he'd be in better shape. You changed! In the posters, you look a bit more veiny. Time flies, I put on some meat. Some? Gotta be around 20 kilos since I hired you here. Dirk, we got a jet. Thanks for your help, Stephanie. Where to, officer? The drugstore. Celebrities first. Okay, so, drugstore. Get ready to visit 621, apartment number 5. Remember the case of the late sesame? Oh my god. Jesus, Lord. We're looking for a hymer from the Department of Geriatrics. Oddly enough, his visit coincided with yours. Visit Mr. Harabella and take her statement. She recognizes me, I'm a dead man. The chief wants that scum down at the precinct. Copy that. Dirk, I got a great idea. Yeah? Let's rehearse the lines before the actual shooting. There's a script? Something like that. You play cop, you get a call to an old lady, her dog died. So much drama, like a real movie, I'm in. Wait here, I'll go get your outfit. Hold up! So, I am sorting this out by... Having this guy going to the meeting instead of myself? That's quite interesting. I got you a uniform. Try to squeeze in, just don't rip it apart. Alright, we're here. 
I'll get changed in the stairwell. The guy's gonna rehearse the action with this old lady for the shooting. He looks like Fat Mike. It's even fatter than I thought. And how's the good old Dirkwad? You get a hold of your wide-angle lens and we're good to go. Uniforms always make me look fatter. It's as tight as an Asian condom. As it should be, you're a cop now. Somebody's gonna be shooting this? No, just a talk with an old lady. Go to number 5 and I'll grab some mats for you. I'll see you back here in a minute. The Z problem, you docked Z ship in the wrong part. What? You pull out the anchor and the seawood? What the F, Mr. Crank? <laughs> I meant I need something for ignition. Ignition of what? Ah, you didn't... They didn't, you just say so. I only have some... something. Sounds about right, I'll take it. First of all, it's prescription only. Second of all, I just zoled the last of it. Are you saying you're out? Uh, also helps the polymony hypertension. I always save the last few packs for a neighbor. The old lady from 609? Is it something urgent? I got a jet. Mr. Crank, thanks for your help. Oh gosh. I need to tell Dirk about this. Maybe he can get the pills from the old woman. Oh, radio? Why don't I just use the radio? Uh, that's uh... Uh, what was there called again? Five. It was the fifth one. So that should be Habsburg. Silence. Alright, I'll wait outside. So, I just have to wait. Dirk! I was at the drugstore and it turns out the last... And what's got you so winded? Kelly, what the F was that? Why are you whispering? What happened? You planned it, didn't you? Dirk, if you did something to Mr. Arabella... I did something?! It was a pitch black in the stairwell, so I was trying to find the doorbell. Then the door swings open, and this woman jumps out on me. What the? Before I even squeezed out a sound, she immerses my dick in a full-on shamanic ritual. Jesus, you sure it was Mr. Arabella? No idea, it was dark. The last time anybody wrote me like that was back in the set of Coming to America, staring hearts all. So you gears back in action? Back in action? I ain't felt this good in 20 years! That means we're even with Froggy. Who? Never mind, go to the porn store. You say Kelly sent you. We'll find out all the details on site. Good luck. Hope you ain't bluffing, take care. Alright, this is done with, but uh, guess what? The... I had a mission over here. This is not gonna be done, is it? It's near the pizzeria, and this is gonna put me in bad terms with... The crew. I know you're from somewhere. I hate to say it, but it was on the wanted list. Impossible! I'm a driver. I just look after these cars, that's all. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna explain that down at the precinct. Don't Tataglia won't like this. Quit whining and give me your hands. You're under arrest! Oh my god. The mafia is not gonna really like this, but the crew will, so... Hopefully, we can increase our crew reputation over here. We we're basically trading off reputation. Guess I missed my chance handling that job for the crew. Oh my god, I gotta take the drugs to the pawn shop. Alright, time to check license plates. Dude, and drop off the parcels. Hold up, this is... What? No, we're not... Kiyu, this, is one of, this was one of the cars. But I cannot do it anymore. License plate checks out. Time to drop off the parcels. Central won't need to know about nothing. The deal, round them up tomorrow. I cannot do it anymore, though. I have no choice to do it. No buttons, no nothing. I need to get back to the pawn shop. What does this guy want? Gosh. Got anything for me? Did you see where the lawyer left the briefcase? Yes. Uh, this is gonna screw me up with the crew, though. So I'm not gonna tell him. I lost him. This ain't what I was hoping for. My supervisors will hear about this. Oh my gosh. Well, at least we're not losing reputation with the crew. You're walking on thin ice, man. I'm supposed to be scared now. I just want to say you have bad taste in friends. Forget the Italians. Hold up. I'm not... what? Check the license plate of suspicious cars. Leave the drugs at the pawn shop. I am here, but that's not happening. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, ain't I? I am gonna die. They're gonna chase me because for some reason I cannot return the drugs now. I have a lot of situations in this game where I just get stuck because I can't do what the game tells me to do. Uh, so I cannot complete the job. And I cannot return the drugs, either. This was a really bad day overall for all the reputations. I didn't lose Mafia reputation? 
I must have. At some point. I didn't intervene in the extortion. Got my paycheck. And that was it. Overall, this day was strange. It's just... I don't know, I didn't get much done. The mission, the main mission was pretty cool, but I didn't get much done with all of the other reputations. I need to do something for the crew because we are really, really close of getting shot again. And we don't want that, do we? You probably do. I don't want to, though. My name has been Tispero Journey. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, once again. This was one more episode into Beat Cop. Hope you are excited and looking forward to the next one. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.